Before you start this next part, make sure that you have your background and your ground all colored in. Then we can start focusing on our half sheet of paper here. We're going to design a mug for this. So for my mug, I decided to put Mrs. Stark on it, and I made these in bubble letters. If you want to make bubble letters, this is a really easy way to do that. Just write your letters like you normally would, but make sure that you space them a little bit more so it has room for the bubble. Then go around each letter and erase the letters that you originally started with on the inside. Then you have some nice bubble letters. Now you don't have to make bubble letters for your mug, but if you want to, that's one way that you could do it. Let's take a look at a bunch of different kinds of mugs to get some inspiration. If you finish designing your mug, flip the piece of paper over so it's a blank piece of paper. Then you're going to fold each side in an inch or two. Grab a glue stick or a glue bottle, either will work, and you're going to add glue to the colorful folded flaps. Then we can flip it over onto our piece of paper here. Make sure that the part that you want to bubble out is bubbling out before you push down on the flaps in the back. You may have to hold down the flaps for a minute or two so that the glue really sticks and doesn't slip around. So make sure you're really patient with this part. We want it to stick nicely so then it stays bubbled up like this. If you have cotton balls at home, you can do this part if you don't have cotton balls at home, you can just skip this part. Add glue to where we want the steam from our hot cocoa to go. Then take your cotton ball and pull it apart. Then push it down onto the glue that we put down. Before everything dries, you can adjust where your steam is going. And then we're all done with this project. Make sure you take a picture and turn it into Google Classroom.